After what felt like an age travelling by road, Logan finally came upon the edge of a settlement. After helping himself some tomatoes and making a fresh soup from a nearby farm, Logan explored the edges of this new town, looting the storage lots and a nearby garage. He found a small group of houses with high-rise fences nearby. Here he slept for the night, ready to explore the town the following day. Hello my fellow Spuds and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. So we're setting off straight after last episode. We need to move our car and we need to kind of keep going. We've got quite a lot of stuff we need to explore today, see what we can find in the local area and see if we can find any trace of Nexus and where the next best step is to go. I mean a map, I don't know if maps spawn on this, but a map would be the best thing ever in this case scenario so we actually know where to go. Uh, we do desperately, before I forget, need to find some insects for Barry because he hasn't eaten in a few days and I feel really guilty as it is. Ah, grasshopper. Thank you. That's just what I was after. Oh god, there's loads. Uh, a zucchini. We just found a zucchini on the floor. As you do, I guess. Wild zucchini. Look at all this food. Because it's a field, so we're finding loads of crops. Found pears. This is great. Well, that's a cabbage. We could extract the seeds from the cabbage and then at least we've got some cabbage seeds as well. This is nuts. We've got so many seeds not even doing anything with them we've just got a bunch of seeds the thing that's really weighing us down despite the fact it looks like we've only got rid of nine weight is the fact that that's 12 weight i might just have to extract some of the seeds from this that'll do another two packs of seeds barry i'm sorry because you are hungry aren't you let's feed you a caterpillar lovely the tomatoes are still fresh so we could keep eating them but we still got 40 of them keep in mind i've been trying to eat them constantly and we are barely getting anywhere with all this eating i think we can eat like five or six before we get to uh being full so I can only really manage that in any one time. And our weight is actually really, really good. 78 going up double. We'll leave it as it is right now. Hopefully that'll get us up to about 80. And then we can ease off and we can focus on just eating little bits at a time. We might be able to lose hearty appetite doing it that way as well, which would be nice. I don't know if we're going to find much in these. These are just houses, aren't they? I don't even know if we want to be looting houses, if I'm honest. We've got plenty of food. We've got plenty of loot. Really, we're just after maybe some tools, books. We're, we're more specialised right now because we don't have the carry capacity to take anything else with us. Oh, here we go. We've already read that. We could read that. We haven't read that one. What's the other one? We've got a key to a car. That's the car outside, presumably. That would be nice. I'm going to leave the mustard. It gives us unhappiness. Does it give us many calories, though? No. It's not even worth taking. It might be good as a condiment for our buck. No, it wouldn't be. Buckwheat porridge with mustard. That sounds horrendous. Yeah, there's no battery. It doesn't look like any gas. No. I think the houses are a little bit pointless. We'll go through the ones that I think are worth it. But I think, really, what we're after is more specialised. Something like a tool shop or a bookshop or somewhere where we can find magazines. I mean, if we can find, like, the magazines for smithing and stuff so we can make our own tools, that would be amazing. I like your summer hat. Let's wear that for a bit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no one will ever find us now, Logan. Don't you worry. That's a lot of food. Oh, no, we don't need to. Just take it. Uh, there's no gas in this. No gas in this. We're finding so much stuff. Why is there all this stuff? The loot is set to... It's the highest that I can set it. I can't set it anymore. And like, to be fair, in like this place, we found some canned beets. That's it. So we just seem to be getting really lucky. Ooh, here we go. Oh, another crowbar. Oh, and it's good condition. Good, 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 good. You're crying with me. We've already got plenty of wire. We don't need any more. And I think we are good now. Anything else here at the end? No. Right, we've got... Oh, a trailer. That could be good. Don't know if our car's going to be able to pull a trailer. Come on, then. At this rate, we might have to up the amount of zombies again. I mean, this is nuts. We're finding quite a few. But they're not posing a huge challenge. Um, more tomatoes. No, I can't have any more. <laughs> Leave me alone. Tomatoes haunt me in my dreams. But, uh, what is this trailer? Is this a vehicle trailer or a bike trailer or something? I'm presuming it's a bike trailer? The overall condition is 3.8%. Don't know what I could do with it. I think it's just for transporting bikes. Like if you find a motorbike, you can use your car to pull it around. Antique collectors. These are really rare if you don't have the trait for it. We can make paper mache, make wood glue, make duct tape. Oh my god, make paper mache sword. And twist one, even better. <laughs> right, that's pretty cool. We can make duct tape. Orange jello. We've got some soy sauce. That might be quite good as a condiment. Liver pate? Sure. I'll take the juice. I think it gets rid of our unhappiness, so I will take it. I was anticipating like we did previously, where we had like to go through five, six houses just to find enough to live for the day. 
but we've easily found enough in look, another box of chocolates. We've easily found enough in the last couple of houses to last us a week. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just have to add the Dixie Rare Loot mod. Okay, got bus stop. So we must definitely be on the outskirts of a town or something. Uh, ooh, duct tape. Duct tape is actually one of those ones that's really useful because especially if you find tools that could be fixed with that. I mean, crowbars, we are predominantly using crowbars, so duct tape isn't needed. But yeah, if we found like a different tool, like a good uh, machete or something, I think machetes are fixable with it. You're backing me up into a corner. I don't really want to go on the slide. Don't make me go on the slide. Ooh, bulletproof vest. It's full condition. Yay, brilliant. And another police baton. Good. Scrap the bulletproof vest. The one that we got shot in. Ooh, some cologne. Oh, we can't carry it. No, the tomatoes. Where did you come from? We wanted the cologne. I mean, the candy cigarettes wouldn't be too bad either. It is literally because of the tomatoes. We'll keep eating them, but honestly, I think we might just have to get rid very soon. Can make a malt of even if the remaining amount is tiny. That's very cool. Because I completely forgot to do it first thing, we have to go back to the car, quickly hide it, because I don't really want Nexus coming to find us. I think the storage lots are probably the best place to hide it. I think I shut the doors. If I didn't, I need to shut all the doors on the storage lots. So it's not too suspicious. We have explored pretty much this whole area now. So we're going to have to go up the road anyway. Take out these zombies first then. Then I think we'll drive it up the road a little bit. Find somewhere to park it. Uh, off the beaten track a bit. Maybe hide it. I mean we could hide it in one of these. Definitely not the toilet one because that's cursed beyond belief. Right. Oh, heart shaped chocolates. More of them. Stop giving me food. <laughs> Okay, there's a high-rise fence area there. Come on, Logan. Just keep stuffing your face with tomatoes. <laughs> Probably, like, just tomato juice, like, dripping down his messy beard. Seeds everywhere. <laughs> it just he's completely coated at this point in tomato juice. He probably looks awful at this. <laughs> Come on, keep eating them. Right, so we've got a big old house here. These are behind double-gated fences. So that'll be quite nice. They look like quite nice houses as well. Yeah, that's quite a lot of zombies. Oh, God. Uh, where are the zombies going? Well, I can't tell where the zombies are going. They're going that way, so next to that way. Um, crap. Oh, the car. I'm sorry, car. We need to find somewhere to hide. Let's go in this one. Uh, can't even go in this one because of the ladder neither in the way. Right, we're gonna have to go in this one. Oh god! No, 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 no. I didn't think it was gonna be that many. Oh no, our summer hat. Oh dear. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, we're not gonna have to take these on. We can, but it's gonna take forever. We need to hide. Um, we might need to hop the fence. Now there's another car in the way here. Take out the ones here. Shut the gate. Oh, they're all coming back round. We're not going to stop here now. There's too many zombie corpses. Oh, we just have to stop. Come on. Go in this gate. What kind of crops are you? Potatoes. <laughs> stop to harvest some potatoes quickly. And more tomatoes. Um, are they actually going to know we're here? I need to turn off the engine. You know what? Let's just go. I'm not going to take them all out anyway. I don't think we should stay here. We do need to hide out, though. Oh, God, there's still loads there. They've broken down that door. This, oh, my God, they're, they're everywhere. Um, oh, God, we're going to have to turn around. We're going to have to go back. I can't take those out. Oh, I just said that we needed more, and it's not that a challenge, and I eat my words now. We're going to have to go back, go back to the storage lots and hide out quickly. They sounded quite close. Fucking like that one, say? Okay, we can get out just. Can we shut the doors? We can. Okay, good. Right, we need to get in somewhere. I just need to make sure they're not following me anymore. I think if we just hide out for a bit, they'll lose interest fairly quickly. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, they can see us from the windows, though. They've stopped. Okay, I think we'll be all right. That was intense. We got scratched, annoyingly. I mean, I'm glad it wasn't anything else, because that was a stupid error on my part. I'm too used to the lack of zombies, but that's a crazy amount. 
So clearly we are in a built up town or just on the outskirts of one. Christ, I don't know how we're going to manage all that. I think we're going to have to actually do proper tactics rather than just kill them all. Okay, so right, let's just mark off what we've done. We've got something up here, so that'll be good to get to. We either basically keep going and try and kill them all, or we're going to have to go sneaky sneaky like. Which, to be honest, Logan isn't the best at and never really has been. <laughs> Our sneaking is nearly level three, but... I don't think we're going to be able to be proper sneaky sneaky because I mean look at him he's not sneaky sneaky we're basically full to capacity with weight uh that's extract seeds from potatoes we've got exactly enough to make a pack of potatoes that's amazing uh that's just extract seeds from the rest of the tomatoes I'm kind of sick of them I'm back Logan is at this point as well and they're just taking up too much weight there we go all right it's enough for a pack and a bit some random survive can come along and find a load of tomato seeds that's fine I'm a little bit worried about our scratch we need to make sure that does not get infected I'm really hoping that our bullet wound is okay. It was infected just before I started the episode. But let's disinfect it now. Barry, are you hungry? I, I guess you might be hungry. No, you've eaten too recently. Let's go to sleep, pray for the best. Right, it's 5.30. Our weight is 79 and still going up double. That's actually a bit concerning. I think I might have to ease off on the amount of food we're eating. I've been hearing a zombie pretty much all night. They're there. It looks like they've probably split off on the main group, which is fine. I'm going to have to close all these doors again. I suppose at least it looks like I continued into the town centre because I've killed loads of zombies that way. They wouldn't expect me to come back and hide, I'm guessing. Especially if I close all the doors. <laughs> we'll try and put what we can away just as a last resort in here. Right now, we've still got another 12 weight to play with, which is quite nice. But we might need to get rid of, like, the police baton, for example, because we're not really using it. Instead of walking straight down the road, let's try and do what I said I would do and be sneaky sneaky. But this is terrifying. The amount of zombies here is absolutely awful. I doubt Nexus are based here just because the sheer amount of zombies that are here. You would have thought they would have at least cleared the area if they are based here. Right, we do have one in the field. We're going to have to take out. None are following me, are they? No, good. Okay, plan's working so far, but he noticed me straight away, so we're clearly not that sneaky. Yeah, well, they can't see me from there, so we still have to be a good, like, 20 tiles away from them to not be spotted. Are we near where we needed to be? Yes. Go through the woods a little bit more. It looks like it might be a garage. Okay, we might just be able to get away with this. Uh, there's a group there. Okay, we're just going to have to take these ones on, I think. Okay, let's go back to sneaking. We should be able to just get in here, no problem. I don't know if we were spotted. Probably. We made quite a lot of noise. Lead pipe. No. Welder's mask. We have a welder's mask. I don't think we need another one. Uh, welding rods. No. Right. So, not quite sure what this is. Is it a mechanics or is it like a little workshop? Sleeping tablets actually might be quite useful. More sleeping tablets. Is it a fire station? None of them seem to be wearing uh, fire equipment unless it's in that big group up there. They have plenty of materials here. We've got a little kitchenette thing. Beef stew and canned bread. That's quite a lot of calories. Take that as well because it weighs basically nothing. Same as that. Chocolate as well. Shh. Just die quietly. Die quietly. <laughs> They're right outside. Get to the other end. Well, there's quite a lot around here. So I think maybe go over to this place, see what's over here. That might be high rises. Right, lots of stuff to explore now. So this is going to be cool. Right, before anything else, though, I did notice there's a lead pipe here and there's a lead pipe over there. We should be able to, between them and the duct tape that we've got on us, be able to make a nice metal spear. Now, the metal spears have added from a mod I've added, which is specifically for metal spears, but they are much, much better than standard spears and they last a lot longer. So I think it'd be good to try one of them for a bit. I've realized we don't really have anything to disinfect our wound with. And if we have issues with our bullet wound again, we are kind of screwed so i'm a bit worried about that because all we've got is a cologne and once that's done we're in a lot of trouble so we really have to be looking out for some more bourbon stuff like that so we're gonna have to look out for maybe some bars uh probably shouldn't be washing ourselves in a toilet that wouldn't help let's wash ourselves can we wash i don't know if this will help i presume it does to a certain extent wash some of our clothes Right, we are lacking water to wash the rest. 
but that's not too bad. The problem is, we still don't have anywhere to settle down and call a home. I can't remember how much, if any, disinfectant we've got back in the car. So we are kind of a bit stuck. We need to find something. I suggest then, best course of action is that we go loot the houses rather than push up any further. Because I don't want to get sick and be on death's door. Oh, hello. There's an ambulance right there. If there's disinfectant there, we're saved. That's fine. But really, I don't want to be on like death's door at this point because for the simple reason that we've run out of disinfectant. This is amazing. <laughs> I love this spear. That's just taking out a horde like it was nothing. You don't have any disinfectant on you, do you, anyone? That'd be too good to be true, but no, sadly not. Right, so we do have some high rises back here. They could have potential loot in them. I'm a bit worried about the population that's going to be in those high rises, but even still, I think it's probably worth looking in, especially if they've got any bourbon or perfume, cologne, disinfectant, alcohol wipes, any of that stuff, it would be worth it. Doctor's bag. The doctor's bag has nothing in it. Uh, trauma bag. Alcohol wipes. Okay, we're saved. Okay, we're good. Nothing in the trauma bag, unfortunately. Uh, let's have a look at the condition of this car. Oh my god, look how good it is. Uh, gas, battery, 0% battery. That's still a shame, but that would be amazing to have. Oh my god, and a street sweeper. <laughs> uh, that would be even better to have. Antibiotics would be the thing that we need, but we haven't found any all playthrough, so a bit concerned that we might succumb to our wound before um, we're uh, actually finished with the series, which would be a massive shame. So I don't think there's anything else we can really do to help speed up the recovery. I mean, we could go foraging again, get some like pulse discs and stuff. That probably couldn't hurt. Potty Z. Uh, not going to pass that up. Um, perfume. Okay, something else that we can use to disinfect with. Anything in the kitchen. Uh, grape jello. I don't think we need to go out there, so I'm not going to. Oh god, they smashed that down. Condensed milk. And the cod liver I'll take, because that's all both high calories. Chicken broth, probably help. Drop a flight. Just a few more bits of disinfectant and we'll be fine for like a little while. Wild garlic bread. Uh, mushroom soup, wild potatoes. No, none of that's particularly high calorie. The potatoes might be alright. Take the potatoes. Perfume. Okay, I think we'll probably be okay for a bit then. Glad we found all of that. Yeah, that's just what we need. Packet of instant beef noodles. A couple of them as well. Right, let's go upstairs one more time. Thankfully, there doesn't seem to be too many zombies in here. Stress management. Eh, hey, that would be good. Why are we stressed? We're agitated. Wait, is it infected? No. What, why are you complaining then? Why are you so agitated? I don't know. Graham crackers. Thank you. <coughs> Rest asleep because we're hungry. I know we're hungry. Just calm down. Anger management. Cologne again. Right, I think we're fine. I think that's enough that we could disinfect, like, everything for quite a long time. Well, I'm presuming this is the top floor. There's not going to be anything here, is there? No, it's the top floor. Okay, I think we keep ourselves safe in here, then. But we definitely need to find somewhere to stay the night and, like, set up a proper base. I still think, honestly, like, somewhere in the middle of the woods would be all right. Like, we could do something, like, here. Uh, just, like, get the car, park it either on the main road when we walk up or here. I, w I, I would prefer to have something nearby the road where we can see it, but I am a bit worried because the amount of corpses we've left behind, the Nexus would be like, oh, let's just check around here. Back at the farm would also be ideal. They might come and check it. So I think maybe in the middle of the woods would be the best situation to have, or maybe here. Uh, right, let's drink that. What's our weight situation looking like? Right, we're stable. We were going up double, so that's quite nice. Rest of sleep is gone. What, why do we have nightmares? What? I don't understand why we're so stressed. Hotty Z. I don't really want to use it now, but I don't think we've got a choice. Antidepressants. I don't want to get unhappy from this stress. I don't know why we're stressed. Stop being stressed. Take sleeping tablets. We'll try and sleep it off. Uh, read that. We're ridiculously tired. Yeah. Okay, let's just pass out. Right. Half three. We're safe-ish. Stress hasn't come back, which is nice. Bowl of grape jello. That's minus five. And that's 1.2 weight. Yeah, eat that. Uh, we get a small bowl as well. That's quite nice. So, I think we're going to go into the woods. Just scout out a little bit. Uh, before we then go back to the car. We can't be that far away from the car now, are we? No, we're fine. We're like one block away. I think there is a horde around here, so we're going to have to be careful because uh, they're the ones we escaped from before. But 
I think we'll be all right. If we just go straight out of here, go straight across, see if there's somewhere to camp over here. We can then loop back, get the car and either park it here or we can park it like here. So let's wait a little bit till it's a bit brighter and then we will explore. It'd also be good to do some actual foraging to find some food for Barry as well as potentially some medical supplies out there. It is a bit rainy, but wait a little bit. Hopefully it does clear. We're getting stressed again. I don't understand why we're getting stressed. Uh, something's stressing us out like a lot. Take these magazines. I should help somewhat. Take all them. They'll help with stress. Why are we getting nightmares now? I don't, I don't understand what's going on. There, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Just, we're out of here. Just calm down a bit, Logan. Right, just uh, read read this. Can you read while walking? No, of course you can't. Right, nightmares are gone. Read that. Right, okay, old magazine is gone. Problem is it's 6.6 and we are freezing. Uh, do we have any holes in our stuff? Uh, yes, we've got a hole in that. Yes, we've got a hole in that. Oh, come on. Uh, holes in our boots. Oh, God, we've got a hole in our boots. Okay, we need to fix them up. I don't think we're going to be able to fix the boots up. But we could probably fix the rest up. Right, I think about here would do. Um, oh, there's a lake. Right, that's ideal because then we can actually get some water. Uh, we do have that zombie, so I'm going to take you out quickly. And then we're going to have to rush back to the car, I think. i try and avoid this rain. We might need to... Oh, God, there's another one. Might have to rip some stuff up. Uh, how da they're no damage. Rip that, and then we can at least fix up our jeans and a couple other bits. Nine thread. Okay, condense it down into two, but that's still pretty good. And we've got four dirty strips. That's not bad. Oh, okay. Um, we found a cabin in the woods. Or two. Or is that a, is that a shed? Are they two sheds? I don't know. Whatever the case. We've, and is that a well? That's a well. We found clean water source. Axes, hammers. We got... There's a bed in here. What about the other one? There's a little farming plot. There's a barbecue. There's a little outhouse. Tiny little kitchen. <gasps> There's a proper bed. There's an antique oven. This is ideal. We, we could easily settle down here for a bit. We've got some food as well. This is nice. Uh, whereabouts are we in comparison to everything else? Right, so the lake does go all the way round. Right, so we're probably protected from that road as well as this road. So this is like ideal spot for a base. We could do, like, little looting trips. We're near enough the road we could probably hear something if there's a car or something. Oh, I like this a lot. Uh, we just need to move the car somewhere. Do we have a needle? We normally carry a needle on us. Needle. There we go. Right. Okay, we should be able to fix up our clothes then. Come on then. Right. Uh, clean denim strips. And ourselves. Just want to avoid infection at, at all possible. I think this might help reduce infection chance. And if not, it should. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. It's just the boots. We need to replace the boots. Uh, the jeans are fine, but we should be alright for a bit. So let's chuck them back in here. I don't, I'm really hoping this stress stuff goes away. I don't know why we were so stressed. I don't know if it's because there were zombies near us and we were just standing still. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, we've got plushies. A shredder plushie and a chocobee plushie. <laughs> we can attach it to an Alice back plushie slot. Oh, it would replace the chain of dice. Okay, and I prefer that to the, <laughs> to the dice. <laughs> what about shredder? Actually, I, I prefer that. It's a shame we can't attach more. That would have been really nice. Maybe we can if we get the carabiner clip or something. Is it worth disinfecting when it's not actually an issue right now? No, I don't I don't want to risk that. Let's bandage it again. Although someone said that if you don't bandage it, it heals quicker. I don't know if that's true. I've never heard that before, but it could be, I guess. Try it for a bit. So we've got plenty of food on us, plenty of everything. We need to do some foraging for Barry, so I think that's probably worth doing right now. What have we found straight away? Sticks. Uh, I'm going to pick that up, actually, because we could use that for the antique oven. What's that? Comfrey. Oh, hello. Loads of stuff. Ooh, wild garlic. I think that's what, what we wanted, isn't it? Helps fight infections. Oh, we only found one? Oh, zombie. Was that all that could fit in here, though? Wild garlic, four. We needed five. We've got five exactly. That's nice. Here, another zombie. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, there's quite a few of them. Tell you what, we've been killing all these zombies, but I haven't actually... Uh, they've got a hole in the shoe, damn it. <laughs> we need to replace our boots before we get issues with our hole. Right, some more berries. Some more berries. Right, at least we're finding lots of tasty, tasty berries. Right, do you have anything? Uh, sneakers. There's no hole in them, so I'll take them. Although they're better than the sneakers. <laughs> Fine. Oh, here we go. Uh, ooh, wild eggs. Right, wild eggs are cool. Don't need Black Sage. 
What did you have in you? A crowbar. And it does seem to be a little beach resort place just off the road. Oh, was that a road up there? Oh god, that is a road up there. Hopefully next won't be able to spot us across the lake. I just have to limit the amount of time we're outside, I guess. Uh, ooh. Habaneros. Right. We found some, like, chilies. Right, onion. Oh, spear's gone up. Nice. No, we don't want a stone. Oh, come on. Just a little bug. We find them all the time. No, we don't want that. Oh, cricket. There we go. Right, we're fine. Barry can eat today. We did have a axe there, didn't we? What I might do is cut down a tree. And then at least what I can do is then I can make a mortar and pestle. I can apply that wild garlic poultice. And I think we should then be safe from infection. Right, there we go. Mortar and pestle. And we can make some wild garlic poultice. Nice, that can go away. And now we should be able to just apply the poultice. There we go. And we should probably then bandage it, I guess, after we've put poultice on it. Barry, Barry, Barry. Wait, did I have a grasshopper on me? I had a cockroach and everything on me the whole time. I could have just fed him. Oh, I'm so mean. I'm so sorry, Barry. Well, whatever the case, you've now got plenty of food for a few days. That's fine. Right then, what I might do off camera then is I might go get the cart, park it on the beach down there, and we can start like moving in temporarily to this place. I don't think we're going to stay here too long, but I think it'd be nice to have the car here regardless, and we can just camp out here for a few days, do some little looting trips, and I think that would be good. I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made, and yeah, I'm, I'm just happy in general. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like what's in, please leave a like, subscribe, a massive thanks to all my Patreons. Drew, Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lorby Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burschel, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, and Brian. Cheers, guys. You're just all incredible. Thank you so much for supporting me in the channel. So, I'll see you next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.